Unity is strength. Long time ago, six years old Mishti and seven years old Mayank lived with their mummy papa in a city. Mishti and Mayank had many toys with them, but they never shared their toys with each other. And they always used to fight on the topic that who has got more toys. I have more toys than you. No, I have much more toys than you. And my toys are much better than your toys. No, I have much better toys with me than you. One day their grandfather came to live in their house. He came with many wonderful toys. Kids, I have brought some wonderful toys for you. Wow! So, so many, many toys. toys. They both stepped forward and picked one bag each from their grandfather's hands. <laughs> these toys are mine. And these are mine. I have brought these toys for both of you only. So, why are you dividing these? No, grandpa. We never share our toys with each other. Never ever. Grandfather was very surprised after listening this. But he did not say anything to kids. Next day, both the kids were fighting as usual. I have more toys than you. No, I have much more toys than you. This time also, grandfather thought that kids will understand with time. This went on for few days. Then one day, grandfather thought, These kids won't learn like this. I shall teach them importance of unity. Thinking this, he went to children's room. And in the room also, kids were fighting as usual. After looking at grandfather, they asked him, Grandfather, come on, you tell us, who has more toys? Yes, grandpa, you only tell who has more toys. According to me, both of you don't have much toys. What? But you need not worry. I can double the quantity of both of your toys. But how? By magic. By magic? Yes, by magic. Now quickly close your eyes and I shall double the quantity of both of your toys. After hearing his words, both the children closed their eyes. Grandfather stepped forward and he mixed toys of both of them and once again stood in front of them. Now you can open your eyes. Upon opening their eyes, kids found all the toys were mixed up. After seeing this, kids became very angry. Grandpa, what have you done? Grandfather, why did you mix our toys? On this, grandfather made them understand by saying, Haven't mixed them, but I have doubled the quantity of your toys. Children, there is massive strength in unity. If we remain together always, then like these toys, our strength increases manifold. That's why we shouldn't fight among ourselves, but always should remain together. And finally, after hearing grandfather's words, children realized the importance of living together. And after that, they never ever fought for toys. Value of Words Long time ago, a family resided in a city. And in that family, 7-year-old Aditi and 8-year-old Aditya lived with their parents. Being siblings, nature-wise, both the kids were completely different from each other. Aditya used to speak very less as compared to his sister, who is very talkative. Sometimes, she used to talk on those matters too, where there was no need. Mom? Today, teacher asked questions one by one from each and every student. And when my turn came, I answered the question correctly before she could even ask. Still, I don't know why she gave me only 5 marks out of 10. Her mother used to explain to her a lot that she should speak less. Aditi, child, we should talk less and sweet. If we talk a lot, then people tend to ignore our talks. But she always said to her mother that, Mom, I don't talk much. Rather, I don't even know how to talk more. I am always at loss of words. One day, their aunt came to stay at their house and brought toys for both the kids.
Aditya, this robot is for you. And Aditi, here is your doll. Aditya quietly kept his robot. Thank you, Auntie. But Aditi, as always, spoke up. Auntie, why did you bring this doll for me? I already had this one. If you had asked me before, then I would have told you that which doll I want. <laughs> it's fine, Aditi. Next time I'll ask you. What is the need to ask? I will go to the market along with you and there I will select a pretty doll of my choice for me. And then you can buy it for me. It's fine. It's fine. Come, let's go now. Uh, uh now? At present I'm very tired. Huh? No issues if you're tired now. But tell me the time when you're going to take me to the market. What? Aditi, do not disturb your aunt. Come, sister. I'm not disturbing her. I'm just talking to my aunt. Next day, her aunt and mother were talking to each other. This time during vacations, we'll go to Nanital. And then, Aditi came there as always started talking. We went to Nanital last year. And before that, we went to Grandma's house in Dehradun. Have you ever been to Dehradun? Yes, once I went. We have been there many times. You know, we go there often. You also must go there. That place looks more beautiful during summers. I'm sure you love that place. Come, sister. We shall go to the kitchen now. And after that, you should go to Nanital too. I'm sure you like it there. That night, Aditi's father too is talking to her aunt. Sister, so nice you came here. Being busy, I didn't have time to visit your place. No issues. I knew you wouldn't be able to take out time from work. That's why I came here. Then, Aditi came there and said, Dad, I need to talk to you. Not now, Aditi. Presently, I'm talking to your aunt. It's fine. First, you talk to auntie. Saying this, Aditi sat there and waited for their talks to get over. Her dad and aunt started talking. I've heard you brought toys for kids, but didn't brought anything for me. <laughs> I, I brought a gift for you too. Keep this. This is your gift. This shirt is so nice. By watching this, Aditi could not control herself and interrupted them in between. Wow, Daddy! Your gift is really very nice. Auntie, you came up with such a wonderful gift for Daddy. This means you really have the knowledge of buying wonderful gifts. Yes, your aunt is an expert in this matter. But I can't understand why she brought such a small doll for me. Dad, you know, aunt came up with a doll for me. I had the same doll with me, therefore I said to her, that she should bring me another present, which is different. And then auntie said that next time she would ask me before buying the gift. Same thing went on for the next few days. Aditi, helpless due to her habit, without any reason used to say something or the other. You eating so late? I ate my meal a long time ago. Are you sleeping so early? I sleep very late. Why you wake up so late? I wake up early every day. Her aunt was very angry on her, but rather, she chose to keep quiet. And then, after three days, when aunt was about to leave, she asked the kids. Now tell me kids, next time, what should I bring for you? Auntie! You please come soon. We'll go together to the market and we will purchase many toys that are dear to me. Auntie, please bring some sweets for us. Sure, Aditya. I will bring sweets for you. Saying this, the aunt went. But Aditi didn't like this at all. With a sad heart, she told her mother, Mom, aunt didn't say anything to me and accepted Aditya's demand instantly. Her mom explained her and said, Aditi, that's why I always told you to talk less. With short and sweet words, people give value to your words. And if we speak much, then no one gives value to us. 
Aditi understood her mother's words, she said, You're saying it right, mother. From now on, I won't speak without any reason. Like this, Aditi got rid of her habit of speaking unnecessarily, and she started speaking less. So children, we get a lesson from this story that we should speak less and sweet. With this, people give value to our words.